Okay, today I'm going to be working on an 820-2936, and the claimed problem is that this board is not charging the battery. So let's go over a couple of the things that I'm going to look at first here. So the first thing that I always say to look at, if it doesn't see the battery, you have to look at data lines. You have to look at the SMC, the battery charger talking to the SMC. So one of the things that I would look at if it didn't see the battery, if it, that would mean that it, the SMC is not communicating with it the way it's supposed to. So I would look at something around here. Let me just bring it up on the schematic so that you can see what it is I am talking about. Okay. Come on, PDF reader, don't be an asshole. So that's the SMC chip right there. And this is where you can see data lines. So you have the SMC talking to the battery charger and the battery. So I'd start troubleshooting that. And I've talked about how to troubleshoot data lines and what to do when your backbook is not charging the battery or not seeing the battery. All of this has been discussed in a previous video. Now, one of the things that I want to look at here is current sensing. So it sees the battery, it just refuses to charge it. So for that, I'm going to look at current sensing. And I've also discussed what current sensing is in a different video. So you can search for current sensing and you will find many videos that I've done on them. Now the current sensing that I'm going to want to check here is going to be, let's make sure it's a recording. All right, this is current sensing for the charger. So this is where the charger comes into the machine. You have a 0.02 ohm shunt resistor over here and then two resistors on each side of the shunt resistor that report voltage to the ISL 6259. The voltage drop across the shunt resistor is going to be dependent on how much power the system is using. So if the system is using a lot of power, you'll be seeing a bigger voltage drop than if the system is using no power. Now the reason that this is important is it allows this chip that is not actually in the circuit, like within it right now, to tell how much power the system is using. If it's using too much power, obviously turn the charger off. Same is true for the battery. You have a shunt resistor right by the two front battery line over here, and then you have two resistors over here that report that information back to the U9, U7000 chip. So one in front of that resistor and one in the back of that resistor. So let's check those current sensing resistors and see what we get and see if this is working the way that it should. So. Okay, got my nice rubber fluke multimeter here. Let's just point it. Okay, so for the charger current sensing resistors that the schematic says is supposed to be 10 ohms, I get 10.1. That is absolutely fine. Do not replace that because it's 10.1 instead of 10. The other one I get 10. Now let's look at the resistors. Well, yeah, 9.8 is... That's good enough. 9.8, there we go. The other two, this is supposed to be, I think, 2.2 or something like that, and I get good. And the next one, which is supposed to be zero, and at the zero ohm resistor, I get, well, that ain't zero. That's not zero. All right, let's see if we found our problem. So now we've got to find a donor board from which to steal that shit from. A donor board where I haven't stolen that already. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. Okay. And of course I have stolen everything. So let's see. I should also plug this camera in since I plan on using it in a few. Okay, so on this board here, let's rip off that underfill like shit that's by the component right next to it and let's see what I get so on a board that's working the way it's supposed to that resistor measures let's see move away all the underfill stuff and I get hmm am I making contact I'm not making contact ah, because I'm touching the underfill not the resistor Motherfuck, Nick. Okay. Time to clean that junk off. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. This is.
Oh, it's not about underfill. It's probably that that resistor is destroyed. Let's see. Yo, why am I even using this board? That resistor doesn't even have metal caps anymore. On this, on the, each side of it. Goodbye. All oh, my donor boards are bullshit. That board is a bullshit one. How about you know you've been stolen already? Here, donor board that's not fucked. Jesus. Aha! Alright, so on this one over here... Ta-da! See, it's supposed to be zero, not 30-something. So let's replace that thing and see what we get. Whoops. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah, we're just going to pretend that we, I didn't just do that. Nobody will. Okay, goodbye resistor that is not measuring how it's supposed to. Ten pads. What? Get off of there. Okay. I don't want to touch that ship next to it because I'm pretty sure it's important that I not reflow it. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to test this and see if it sees the battery, charges the battery, and does all that good stuff that it's supposed to. Also, another thing to know is that malfunctions in that area do actually cause quarter fan spin. And quarter fan spin is one of those miserable things that it has 50 different causes. So it's great to know every single potential solution to quarter fan spin. The quarter fan spin sucks. Oh, look, this board actually has a sticker on it from another company that fixes boards. Okay, that's my key. That's my, uh, that's my answer key that this is not going to be a fun one. Let's see if it sees the battery and charges it now. Hopefully this boots up quickly because I see an SSD inside the computer. I've honestly gotten so impatient with this that a lot of the times if I see like that a customer has a machine with some three-year-old piece of shit spinning Samsung hard drive inside of it that I just, I'll take the time to grab mine because I can grab my drive and boot up half of it faster than I can just wait for their crap to boot. Once you use an SSD, it's like, I don't even think, honestly, SATA 3 SSDs, I don't even see that as like a big Speed increase. It's like an SS, that that's just standard to me. Like a regular SATA 3 SSD is standard. A PCI Express SSD is fast. And a hard drive is just, that's just fucking unusable. I mean, it's fine for storage or, you know, watch movies or television on. But to actually use a computer and load software and do things with it, Oh, fuck no. And people will say, like, we've, we've used them for so long, so how do you say it's unusable now? I mean, how long do people use 33K modems for and 56K modems and ISDN lines for? Like, you got by with it. You used it. I remember downloading the movie Deep Blue using my 56K, 56K Earthlink connection a long time ago. Sure as hell doesn't mean I'm going to do it by choice now. You know, I acknowledge that it sucked at the time. And I knew that hard drives sucked. Even from 2002 when I got my first quote-unquote real laptop. Okay, so I got an orange light in the charger, so this is a start. See, the orange light there tells me that there's hope that this actually works.
guest. Okay, so the guest account on this is blocked and it has a password, so great. This is what I get for mentioning that shit. I'm gonna have to boot up off of another drive anyway. To see that it's charging. Okay, here we go. I got a firewire enclosure in my drive. Restart. Option. Please tell me this board is firewire. That works. I saw a particular company's warranty sticker that leads me to believe that I may not be seeing firewire. There's a particular warranty sigil that when I see it, something tells me that I may be missing I.O. ports. And this board seems to be no fucking different. Okay. Try one more time before I grab a USB cable. Okay, fuck it. I grab a USB cable. Nice, slow, useless, worthless USB 2. So not only do we not have Firewire, but we only have one USB port on this board. And this is one of those things where like, I honestly really probably would look into why that is if this board didn't have the sticker of the company that you guys probably know where it came from on there. But since it does... Ah, I'm got my eye. I can't. Like, I feel bad, but just don't bring your board there before you bring it here, if you want it to actually work. Okay, so before we were at battery level 0%, now we're at 3%. Might as well show you that it says it's charging. Come on. Say that you're charging. Okay, fine. You'd be a pain in the ass and take forever. So, I'm going to zoom in on that with the camcorder right now so that you can see it. This battery had no charge in it at all, and now if I unplug the power adapter, it stays on because it does have power in the battery. Not a lot, but enough that you can see that it works. All right, so just to recap what we did to make this work, let me just go back to the view where you can see what's going on on the screen. The current sensing for the charger was not working, so let's show you that. This is to and from the battery. And over here you have a current sensing shunt resistor. And this shunt resistor over here, the whole idea behind it is you're going to have a small voltage drop across the shunt resistor. And the voltage drop across that shunt resistor is going to go up or go down depending on how much amperage the system is using. There are two resistors that go from each side of this shunt resistor to the ISL6259 chip. And so that the ISL6259 can do whatever calculation is necessary to figure out how much amperage the battery is supplying to the machine. And this resistor over here, the 0 ohm one, was blown. So instead of being 0 ohms, it was going up to 39 ohms. The multimeter was continuing to count. I just took it off because I know that 39 is not 0. And after replacing that, the machine charges the battery and all is well. And again, it doesn't have firewire and it's missing a USB port at the moment. And I know exactly why. Because of the warranty sticker that's on the machine. I know who fixed it. I know what they did. And I hate to say it, as much as I like to go above and beyond and make these boards work as best as humanly possible, in this case, 
I just know that's going to be a nightmare, so I'm done.